Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It microphone fell down. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into a good one today, one that um, I think is a terrible heavyweight fight between two fighters I don't think are very good heavyweights. That's F.A. Ajagba and my my paisan, my Italiano, uh, F, uh, Guido Pianello. Uh, I don't really think too much of either of these guys, but I know a lot of y- y'all do or did. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently uh, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, please also subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just $5 a month gets to the lock of the week. Again, of course, we hit the lock of the week this this, this past week. We hit the lock of the week as well uh, the week before. It's guaranteed money. You're making money. It's just five dollars a month. Let me know what you guys think. Um, join the Patreon. You get the lock of the week. You can ask to book you anything. There's a free T-shirt involved. There's a ton of perks. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Um, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, all. Uh, again, uh, all persons go to watch the research and recovery is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All right, let's get into today's show. F.A. Ajagba, Guido Villanello, two heavyweights I don't think are any good at all. Uh, F.A. is tall and strong, but he's obviously mechanical, good power. He's strong as hell. He's an ox in there. Works behind his long jab. He, he keeps it out there. That's what he does well, other than hit hard. He keeps the jab out there. He, he distracts you. He sizes you up with it. He measures distance with it. He does a good job with it. Like he's a bit slow and stationary. I don't think he's he's a very good athlete at all. He's fairly coordinated in a sense, but he's like, he's, he's, just, he's like a big robot or something, right? Like, I'm not... He's so mechanical, right? Like, he's everything you hate about AJ with none of the things you love. Uh, he goes to the body well. And this is something he's improved recently in his last two fights. He, he does go to the body a little bit. I want to see him really commit to that. But mostly, he, he likes to, to stand and bang. He likes to lead. He likes to go first. He's straight in. There's almost zero lateral movement. So you know what he's doing. It's, it's his jab, jab, right hand. He's a basic one-two kind of guy. There's no head movement. He's an easy target to hit. He's st- he stands in stationary behind a high guard. right? You can get him to shell up. You can get him to the body. I don't know if Guido's going to go to the body. But he's just basic, like, step one of an instructional video. Like, he has never progressed past that in any way. Good straight punches, though. Like, like. On a fundamental, basic level, Ronnie Shields, who's over my shoulder, you see Ronnie Shields there, has done a relatively good job with, with developing him at the early stage. Now where he goes from here, I don't really see. You know, when Curtis Harper jumped out the ring, a ton of y'all thought he was the next great heavyweight. I didn't see it then. I see a big, slow, stationary target with decent power and a good jab who – can make money as a heavyweight, but ain't going to win no belts as a heavyweight. That's for sure. Guido Vianello, on the other hand, I understand the attraction in him. He's got a good clean jab, too. It's, it's, it's quicker. He, he works behind that jab, too. He's got good power, too, although it's not as good as F.A.'s. F.A.'s a much bigger hitter. He throws good clean shots. He throws on the inside. He's got uppercuts and hooks. He can he can do more. He's just not as powerful or strong as FA. He also telegraphs his shots. His power shots are you can see it when he's at the mid-range or long range, he loads up on him, he throws him wide. You can telegraph him. If FA can throw short counter shots, he can knock him out. I don't know if F.A. can do that. It's not really his game. But F.A. likes to go first, and then when you throw, he covers up. He can't cover up. He's got to counter him because you can counter this guy from a mile away. But that's not really F.A.'s strength. Where does he want to be, right? Like, I don't really get – I don't think Guido has a game plan, really. 
does he want to come forward? Does he want to go back? Where does he want to be? Does he want to be on the inside? Does he want to be on the outside? He definitely doesn't want to be on the outside, but how does he get himself on the inside of FA without getting himself tagged? It's tough, but offensively, he has some tools. It's just like he's not that good. Like he throws in combinations, he throws good clean shots. He's reasonably athletic. I think he's the better athlete in the ring. Um, I think he's a quicker guy in the ring. He's pretty quick for a big man. He's got some decent tools. I, again, he's not the strongest guy. He's not the biggest hitter. All his powers okay. He can get knockouts, but he's not going to really change things with, with, with one shot the way that FA could. He likes to march forward as well. So I see this coming forward. I, I see him coming forward and FA standing his ground and FA basically, for the most part, getting the better of it. Right, like Guido's gonna try to get inside. He's not gonna be able to get past that jab. He's gonna march forward. He's gonna walk face first into some jabs, uh, and eventually that right hand's gonna score. Let's take a look at how we're gonna make money on this. I guess I've showed my hand already. I like FA to win. Um, I'm gonna look. There's no. This is all we got right now. There's no props, so it's just a one times bet. A hundred dollar bet makes you fourteen twenty eight. Okay, it's minus seven hundred. Check this for part of the. Lock of the week. I'm not sure it'll be part of it, but if you're in the Patreon, join me. When they put the props, I want to take the under on this fight, but I want to see what it's at. I want to get all the details on it. So join the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. When the props come out on this, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing FA by knockout and the under. What the odds are on that, and I'll advise you what to do. Should we take FA by knockout? Should we take this fight to end? But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. But I, I like FA, and I like this fight to end prematurely i like it to, to go inside the distance uh we don't have odds on that right now so we're, we're, all we have right now is fa jog make your one times bet i'm confident fa wins but this is not like some absolute home run uh so we're gonna say fa because fa is not that good fa minus 700 the one one times bet makes you 14 28 you lock in the profit remember we went five and all last week we're going to try to go five and oh again this week let me know what you guys think Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. We're at 5-0 last week. We're going to go 5-0 again this week. It's what we do. We're 5-0 last week. My record is the best that there is. Uh, there's, that's not even debatable at this point. I'm the best at this. It's just, it just is what it is. Uh, join the Patreon. Get a lot of free advice. Get the lock of the week. Get a free t-shirt. Show some support. Just $5 a month. Um, also join the other channel, Texas boxing scene, all proceeds go to autism research and recover. It's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. It is April 7th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post story or video. 3D boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.